The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... Since opening its doors just a few years ago, the Harvester Performance Center in Rocky Mount has not only brought countless musical legends through Southwest Virginia, but it's also been a great boost for the town of Rocky Mount. Here to tell us more about the impact of the premier music venue, we have Matt Hankins, the CEO, and Steve Angel, the mayor of Rocky Mount. Thank you so much for coming on. Pleasure to be here. Thank Thanks you very us. much. So how long ago did the Harvester open and, and what has been the, the impact on the community? Just less than four and a half years ago. So uh, wow. we're, we're still not five years old, uh, but we've brought uh, over 800 shows to Southwest, uh, that South Central Virginia. That blows my mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're telling me. It's been a lot of work. Uh, we, we have a great staff and a great team that's put that together, but yeah. we, we are you know, really growing. Steve and I were talking about that earlier, about how the artist community sees us. Uh, and they tell each other about us. Uh, they, they say, you've got to go play the Harvester, and yeah. you know, it's great to have that sort of support. And I think it says so much that, that they keep coming back. Like, I mean, if they came one time and then they never talked to you again, that's one thing. But since they just keep coming back, that says a lot about the venue and, and Rocky Mount as a whole. So let's talk a little bit about the impact that, that the Harvester has had on Rocky Mount. Well, the Harvester was initially developed for economic investment for the town of Rocky Mount. And it has met and exceeded our expectations with the initial investment we made. We have just about recouped that, recouped that from... Uh, meals tax, sales tax, uh, occupancy tax and hotels. You know, people are coming to Rocky Mount as a destination now instead of just passing through. Uh, as a matter of fact, we just recently uh, reached uh, visitors coming to the Harvester have covered all 50 states and 20 countries around the world. Yeah. Uh, recently, we uh, contracted with Virginia Tech to do an economic impact study what the harvester has brought to Rocky Mount, and uh, without going through a lot of detail, the bottom line was showing was that for every dollar the town has invested, mm -hmm. the return has been $3. Wow. So that, that's been a, quite an economic accomplishment for the town, and we're just very delighted that people continue to come to Rocky Mount. Mm -hmm. They're staying, they're visiting our you know, retailers, and yeah. it's, it's just been a great thing for Rocky Mount. Yes. We've, we've had about 100 jobs created uh, as a result of uh, either direct investment or indirect investment caused by the harvester. That's wonderful. It's pretty good. And so let's talk about some of the upcoming shows. Let's bring more people to Rocky Mount. Right. What can we expect coming up in August? Well, uh, this weekend we've got the fantastic Betty LeVette. Uh, she's uh, there on Friday. She does uh, amazing covers of uh, all sorts of classic rock songs, but she's out of the Motown tradition. Uh, so she, she's got that going on. Then Sunday night we have a legendary singer-songwriter in Gordon Lightfoot. Uh, he, he's known for such big 70s hits as Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald and Sundown. Uh, really fantastic performer. Uh, you know, it's one of those folks that is such a legend that you need to come see him while you still have the opportunity. Right, and then you all have Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. Uh, yeah, uh, they're going to bring that swing sound. We're going to have some room on the dance floor. People yeah. can come out. Uh, horn sections sound great in the Harvester. Uh, there's a lot of music that sounds great, but horn sections in particular just really ring there in, in the, the acoustics that we have. So uh, we're looking forward to Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. And then String of Pearls is at the end of the month. Is that right? Yep. They okay. do a uh, classic American songbook. Uh, it's a three-part harmony. Uh, female uh, singers, uh, I think sort of the Andrews sisters, you know, they, they'll, they'll do songs from the 40s, 50s, 60s uh, up until today. Uh, and, and yeah, they're uh, really engaging and, and talented. Okay, um, and so where can people go if they want to find out more about the Harvester um, and find out about the upcoming shows? Go to harvester-music.com or call 540-GUITARS, talk to our uh, box office guru, Rex, and, and he'll let you know uh, what you need to come see. Right. 